Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, and this video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about the Neo Geo Home System. The Neo Geo was one of the most expensive consoles that was released back in the 16-bit and 32-bit eras. Um, it was ridiculously expensive. I think it was like 500 for the console and the games weren't cheap either. Um, but you know, uh, years later, I after the console was pretty much a failure over here in the States, um, I picked one up and I actually got got very lucky and picked one up for a good price that had two controllers that were in decent shape and uh, got a bunch of games for it as well and uh, these are my favorite games for the Neo Geo uh, they're not again not presented in any particular order but uh, you know but they are restricted to the games that I currently own um, so Samurai Showdown was a great arcade fighting game that was basically supposed to be an answer to uh, you know, Capcom and all of their fighting games. And I believe, I personally believe that Samurai Showdown was probably uh, the most successful that they that they fed. Um, it's a great series, it continues to be a great series. And I, I just, I love it. It's released 1993 by SNK. Uh, I think like most of the games on the Neo Geo are released by SNK. But again, you know, if you have a Neo Geo or you're getting a Neo Geo, pick up a Samurai Showdown game. Uh, just any version of it, you should be happy with it. Uh, next up, I have Art of Fighting. Um, Art of Fighting, released 1992 by surprise SNK. Uh, you know, it was uh, it's it's another you know fighting game. Um, pretty much, I'm just have fighting games on the on the thing. I wish I had more than that. Uh, I think I do have like. Uh, the top, the top golf game or something like that, but I just don't really play it that often. Uh, but it's you know, it's it's another game that's a lot of fun. Uh, then there's SNK's uh, flagship for their fighting games, which is the Fatal Fury series. And specifically, I have Fatal Fury Special. Uh, I liked Fatal Fury. It's it's very different. Um, it's great for when you want to play a Street Fighter style game, but you're tired, but you're tired or tired of Street Fighter itself. Um, but you know, sometimes uh, there's like a couple, a little bit of slowdown issues and, and stuff like that. Um, some of the inputs are a little bit hard to do. Uh, but all, over and all, you know, a very good game and. Uh, honestly, if I was buying a uh, Neo Geo uh, today, I would expect someone to throw in like Fatal Fury in for free, or like just one of the cheap games, because it's such a huge monetary investment to start collecting for the Neo Geo. Um, also, I'd like to go over some of the things that you need to look out for when you're picking up a Neo Geo. Uh, make sure that it is the Neo Geo AES system and not a converted MFV system or MSV system. Um, those are actually the arcade machines that have been converted. And, you know, there, you, you need to just know the difference between the two. Uh, also, do not purchase a Neo Geo uh, home system without the uh, without the AV cable and without the uh, uh, power cable. Um, purchasing one that has been modified for S-Video Out or any other, anything else like that is just fine. You know, Universal BIOS, you know, definitely a bonus to go with that. Um, but you need that power brick. Uh, it's a little specific. Um, I don't like, I, I have used a generic power brick in the past and I got some noise coming across the sound and across the video. Uh, so, you know, I just basically try my best to stick with the, the OEM, you know, the one that just came packaged with it. Also, uh, 
get controllers. Um, I still use my two large arcade style controllers. You know, I've taken them apart, I've, con I've cleaned them. Um, don't expect them to be in immaculate condition. Uh, a lot of them, the little like clear plastic you know, ball at the top is has cracks in it. That's actually fairly normal for, the, for it to happen to these systems. Um, it's just something to do with the type of plastic they used. And how they would how it kind of naturally cracks over time. Um, you know, the AV uh, you're mainly just going to get composite and uh, you know uh, monorail sound out of it. Now you can plug in to the headphone jack up front and then use that to get sound. Um, but you know, picking up a modified system is not terrible. It's not the end of the world. Uh, picking up some of the you know, uh, handheld controllers that were originally intended for the uh, Neo Geo CD and using it for this system is not a terrible idea either. But, you know, it's. I don't regret owning this system. I kind of regret how much I paid for it. But, you know, uh, everyone wishes that they can get something for cheaper than what it really is valued at. Um, but you know, it's it's a great system. I enjoy having it. It's definitely a staple in my collection. I love showing it off. Um, I even went so far as to order one of the little stretchy like covers for it from Spain, and uh, it it looks great. It protects the console, and I absolutely love it. Well, that's it for this episode of No Name Designs. I'm your host, Mondain, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.